Hello, I am OP Silver, and I am going to review Ruby Volume 9 of Episode 7. Hope to God it's an improvement from Episode 6. Let's do this. The episode starts with Team Ruby and John sleeping in John's house. At least that's what I can assume. John rushes out of the house saying that he's late and there's a huge explosion when he leaves, which leads to the environment of this episode. Literal paper land. And the people that inhabit this place are called paper pleasers. Why are they named that? John saves the village like usual. I say like usual because there's a literal list of disasters that happen. And the paper pleasers are named after everybody on Remnant, which is not only a nice touch but also really proves the fact that he's going crazy. And even his little moose thing is named after his team. Anyway, Jean also explains that he explored a lot of areas around the island according to this map here. And he also explains that he can't just leave the paper village because he wants to protect them. Which makes sense because of Penny's and Pure's death also. John gets out of the room, then a paper pleaser explains that they want to die because they want to reincarnate from the tree. Then John comes in the room with Y saying that John's basically insane, and John gets pissed off. Then a bunch of Zaru's attack, and the fight scene ensues. But Ruby just stands there like a deer in headlights and a Zaru attacks Ruby. Then Yang and Blake save her. John tries giving Ruby her weapon, but the dam breaks and floods the whole village. John is upset and pretty reasonable too, considering what I just said before. Then finally this episode gets a little bit interesting. Ruby gets an absolute mental breakdown. The reason why this is happening is because she's wondering why everything remains so positive and she starts wondering about herself and why does she even have to be leader? Jean also breaks and exclaims to Ruby that it has always been about her and she's the very reason why Neo was attacking. Then the episode ends with Ruby dashing away. I, I assume it's to go get Neo. Either that or she's trying to get the world record of speedrunning this volume. I can quite name a few good things with this episode and dare I say I actually enjoyed this. The paper pleasers names are a little bit of a nice touch because it proves how much Jean misses Remnant, either that or he's insane, at least according to Weiss. They also did a really good job of doing the character development between Jean and Ruby. For Jean, he wants to protect everybody, but he just can't. As for Ruby, she's wondering why she's even later. Okay, but seriously, why are these things called paper blazers? It's like Rooster Teeth is asking for it, if you know what I mean. As I said before, this was a really good episode. Really nice job on focusing on character development, and it gets a 9 out of 10. A definite improvement from episode 6. I'm OP Silver, and signing off.